takeover. And I didn't do this to be the video fixing or anything like that. I just went in for something, just a slight enhancement. She left in a wheelchair after her January procedure at Dallas Plastic Surgery Institute and Dallas Day Surgery Center. Her attorney says Dr. Samir Jajurakar injected too much fat into the muscles above her sciatic nerve. You are, this shit fucking hurts. Her daughter texted her right before surgery. She says she got the emergency phone call two hours later. I remember is falling to the floor. That's that's the last thing that I remember. I remember I had no strength in my body. Her daughter died of a fat embolism. That's where a piece of fat gets into a patient's bloodstream and causes them to stop breathing. To the Dominican Republic for plastic surgery. It is a growing trend. U.S. citizens leaving the country to get those procedures. Now, what went wrong? in the Dominican Republic. Paige Hazelton was a mother of two little boys working full-time as a dancer and going to school. After two pregnancies, she felt she wasn't getting the roles she needed to pay the bills, so she turned to the Brazilian butt lift. She just saw that other women were getting the surgery done and that it was just everywhere. The surgery involves taking fat from one area of the body and putting it in another to Dr. Stephen Gordon for the procedure, and while her fiancé waited to pick her up from the surgery, he noticed an ambulance. He gets out of his car, and um, Paige is on the gurney. There's somebody on top of her, and he's running through the parking lot. What's going on? You know, there's, there's, there's something. It's all on a sliding scale. There's nips and tucks, slight adjustments. But we're getting to the point to where it's becoming comical. I live in Atlanta, and I've seen, I'm looking at some, some women that have some of those comical proportions. Jessica Rabbit was a cartoon character for a reason. But now we're starting to see women who have these impossibly small waists, really large hip to waist ratio, really large butts. But what you're not seeing is a lot of these women with, where are their husbands? Who are they married to if they are married? I look at the outcome. Look on their wedding, look on their left finger and say, are you married to a man, a man that you value? And the answer probably would shock most people. 